It is a crucial day for voters in Wisconsin. They must decide this morning if Governor Scott Walker, rising star of the Tea Party movement, should be thrown out of office. Dean Reynolds is in Milwaukee, where this recall election is attracting, is attracting national attention. Dean, um, what do we expect today? What do the numbers show us as the voters go to the polls? Well, we have seen polling which shows consistently that Scott Walker is in the lead, but uncomfortably in the lead, if you will. Those polls show him between seven, maybe as much as seven, down to two points uh, ahead of Tom Barrett, the Milwaukee mayor. So the turnout will be the big key. And consider this, Charlie, that in 2010, when Walker won the first time, uh, the governorship, 2.1 million people participated in that vote. Now, experts are telling us they're expecting as many as 2.8 million voters to take part. So the state is energized and polarized. And how much can you read into the results? Well, you know, the Republicans, because they believe they're going to win, have said that this has nationally significant ramifications. But pollsters tell us that there is a group of voters who are going to stand with Scott Walker today, but will also be standing with President Obama in November. The people who are in that category basically don't believe that a governor should be recalled for policy differences. Right. So they can be both for Walker today, but for Obama in November. Dean Reynolds, thank you.